is without a doubt the nastiest, most least favorite thing I've ever done in my life. So let's talk about last night. You want to talk about it? Not really. But <laughs> no, I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> we should. So what happened last night, Blair? It's the worst experience of my life. No, it wasn't the worst. I doubt it. I don't know, maybe it was. But you smelled something in our bathroom and you immediately were like, let's go try this whole dumping thing. All right guys, so our black tank is full. This is the first time that we're gonna be using our poop trolley. Some of you guys have called it a honey wagon. You've never used this before, so I'm going to show you guys, of course, because this journey is all about being honest. And I have no idea how this is gonna go. Matt is on crutches, so it's all going to be me. Oops. Let's do this. Because, you know, we have the new uh, poop trolley. Poop trolley. We can go outside and find out that the trolley is about probably three or four inches too tall. So this tank is higher than this opening right here, so we're not sure how the flow is gonna go. What's gonna happen is water's going to empty into the, the hose. While it's on the ground, we're gonna have to actually lift it up towards the end to help it in. Right, it's about, about four inches, you think? It's taller than the output. So what's the, how do you solve that? What's the beta? Yeah, what's the bait on that? I mean, I guess you would have to find a place downhill, but if you're not downhill, what do you do? Anyway. Well, most campsites, you have to think, like, there's a little drop-off, because, like, there's a place where you park, and then a lot of times there's, like, a little drop-off. Some places there's not. Some places yeah. just, like, a little I lawn. I guess you can make that work. Have, but know, still, but... it was just frustrating, all of it. Yeah, it's like we had to maneuver it, you know? It's like... We. Yeah, I mean, I helped as much as I could. I know. Um, and you also got mad at me, because I didn't understand. No, I just raised my voice so that you can hear me better. And I walked away and called you a freaking a-hole, and then we were all good after that. I don't remember that part, so either way, yeah, we're good. <laughs> we got it done. Well, part of it, because we also didn't, I don't know, it was just, it was a, it was our first experience with it. Yep, and, and we already have solutions for it, so what we're going to do is possibly, and unless y'all tell us something different, we're going to dig a hole. But not a huge one. <laughs> dig a hole. That's it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna dig a hole. Dig a hole. <laughs> to, to lower the the trolley down just a little bit behind our, our camper. Um, or on the side. I don't know where we're going to put the hole. Either way, it should flow a lot better after that. But so. then getting it to the septic wasn't bad. I just, I pulled it through the dog pen area. It's like 50 yards, I think, in total. Is it? I just pulled it and there's a little bit of bumpy terrain, but it, it wasn't hard. I know it wasn't full, but I think when it is full, it's not going to be that bad. And we won't be doing it at night because it got dark. <laughs> so afternoon. we had to use so flashlights. We have to... So hot yesterday. Yeah, we had to do it in the morning. God. We had to do it because we'd been putting it off. We didn't have time to do it. Any other time this week was to the point where everything was full and I was like, we have to empty at least some of this. We did and then we put some gray water in it and then we washed out the the, the sewage hose and into the septic, which was nice because we just had it stretched out. We had a we had a hose and just pss, like emptied it out. Anyway, we're gonna show you the footage of last night's calamities. Yeah. It's very interesting. For any of you guys that are experienced with this topic, please comment below because we need help. <laughs> We are in need of assistance. Yeah, we don't um, know what we're doing. We don't. I mean, we did it. Things But happened. I just know that there's better ways to do it. So um, It worked, but it took us like an hour and a half or something. It was like two uh, hours total. Yeah, we could have watched a movie. And I felt so nasty afterwards because we had <laughs> to open the black water and close it like three or four times. Yeah. And I just... We've seen things. Went through so many gloves yeah. and our other... You'll see. You will see. So, <laughs> Alright guys, so our black tank is full. And this is the first time that we're going to be using our poop trolley. Some of you guys have called it a honey wagon. Um, we've never used this before so I'm going to show you guys of course because this journey is all about being honest and I have no idea how this is gonna go Matt is on crutches so it's all going to be me um, oops. let's do this really where's your other crutch oh you're using it we have to empty our poop we make it a family affair no no please don't Oh no. We're just trying to alleviate some of our uh, internal pressures here. Don't worry about the water. Do you have any other gloves we can use? Ours got wet, all of them. Cool. 
When it's empty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go so get some drinks and popcorn. Probably. So this is not airtight and water got in and so all of like the gloves wasn't completely zip closed. So they're all wet. I'm not going to show y'all this last part. This is without a doubt the nastiest, most least favorite thing I've ever done in my life. So we'll talk to you about it in a bit. Hopefully you guys enjoy our struggles because it's all part of the learning process. Just jump and hope you don't land in poop when you're weighing down. It's very possible in this scenario. Yes it is. Okay. <laughs>